Cannon Row, London, December 1560. Janie and I stumble along the riverbank, holding each other up in the slippery mud. We thought the easiest way to Ned's house in Cannon Row from the palace would be along the foreshore, as the tide is out and we are unobserved. But the path is blocked with rubbish, broken beams and wrecks of boats and some disgusting garbage. And my shoes are muddy and Janie is holding her side and panting by the time we reach the walls of Ned's garden and the steps to the water gate. We are alone, the two of us. We've never before walked out in London without guards and ladies-in-waiting and maids and companions. I feel thrilled by the adventure and Janie is beside herself with excitement. We didn't even bring my maid as a witness. We sent my sister Mary out hunting with the court, not knowing what I'm doing. We thought it safer to come alone. Ned is at the water gate. Peering through the portcullis and he cranks it up himself and helps me up the steps that are green with weed, my love is all he says, my wife. Jenny comes up after us. Where's the minister? Ned says. I thought you were bringing him with you. I told him to meet us here. Is he not here? No, I've been waiting from dawn. I would have heard if he'd come early. I have to be back at the palace by dinner, I warn them. I'll be missed if I'm not there. You go in, Janie says to the two of us. I'll go and find a minister. Ned has prepared his room for a wedding feast. There are dishes and dishes of food on the sideboard waiting to be served. There are flagons of red wine and goblets made of Venetian glass. There is small ale and even water. The servants have all been sent out for the day. His bed is made and I see the embroidered sheets invitingly turned back. He sees me glance and says, I suppose we do have to wait for Janie.